What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another guide for Myth of Empires. And this one is a horse taming guide. So, yeah, not much has actually changed from two, three years ago. But just because we are in 1.0 and it's been a while. And, uh, yeah, not very many people have put anything out yet. I just want to put this out there in case there's any people out there that are struggling with how to tame a horse. Now, there are three ways you can tame a horse. There's two passive ways and one active way. I'm going to show you all three of them, and we've already got everything set up here to do it. And it's all going to be done from that right there. Most of it anyways. So the first method we're going to do is the active horse taming. And then I'm going to show you the two passive horse tamings. And that's where she will come in, because I brought my NPC along with me. All right, so if you, this is something that you can do right off the back. So first and foremost, we're going to go into our skills. So we're going to open up our, our hot bar here, our bar thingy, our talent skills, our skills of greatness. And you're going to go to taming and recruiting. So right at the back, you can see the first thing you learn is taming horses and basic track. And you learn these both at level 14. With that, you will learn the crude reins and the crude hay, which we will be showing you how to use those in a minute. And then you learn the crude light saddle and the crude light horse armor. Okay, and I already have reins with me. Now I have advanced reins on me, but in case you're curious, you make the reins, the crude hay, the light saddle, and the light horse armor in your inventory. You do not need a workbench for these. You start learning how to tame horses at 14. So, all right, you're level 14. So, you know, you're out and about, you're looking for horses. You know, the sun is up, you can see across the horizon. You need to find a horse. Now, there were a couple of horses out here before the sun came up. And my guess is they bolted when I was AFK. Ah, here we go. There they are. Looks like they bolted off down that way towards the road. Perfect. So I'm just going to leave my horse right here because we don't want to spook it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out your horse hay, okay? Now this is the tier one hay that you get and you hold it in your hand and then you want to pull out your reins. And what you're going to use this for is you're going to use it to distract the horse. Now you don't have to do this, but I highly recommend you do this because it makes it extremely easy to tame a horse. All right. So what's going to happen during this process is if we go in the talents and we go to taming, when you're taming a horse or elephant or rhino, that's a for a future episode, um, your taming skills will go up. As you can see, I don't do a lot of taming. I think I've tamed maybe three horses and I think I stood on an animal pen for a little while and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> Most of my horses come from our tamers and breeders because we have a good, uh, like three or four of them in the clan. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the hay. You want to, if as soon as you see its level, you need to make sure that you always stay just outside of its level reach. Look up and then throw. Because if you do that, it's going to chuck it far. And the, what you want is you want them to see that and turn around. Yep, see, that one saw it. And just want to keep backing up. Yep, see, he saw me. He's being stubborn. He won't go after that hay. There he goes. So the one in the distance went for it first. This is why you need to always make a handful. So we're going to grab this guy first. You do not need to crouch for this. You just need to stay out of their line of sight. Come up behind them. It sub subduing. And then, boom, hit E with the reins in your hand and ride. So what's going to pop up here is a little bit of a mini game. Matter of fact, oh, I got to do this. There we go. <laughs> I had to open up my actual thing. I had it turned off. So what you're seeing here is obedience, anger, break, and ranking. So obedience is basically its taming bar. That's the yellow bar. Anger is the horse will eventually start to get upset as you're doing this. Now, if you, if I was to tell the horse, go this way and turn it. Okay, I'm not doing it. I'm just letting it free reign right now. Um, that will increase its anger even more. The green bar going up is its ranking. 
the higher that point is, the better the horse is. Now, when you're starting out, a lot of these horses aren't going to be that good. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But because of my obedience um, ability for taming, as well as my clan one, you can see how this horse will tame. It'll tame perfectly fine without me ever having to do the little mini game, which is unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force the mini game to spawn because I want to show it to you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to basically I'm just going to start telling this horse to go this way and then go this way. And as you can see, the anger is going up even faster. And the horse is getting mad because I'm basically forcing it to go somewhere. So it's like, ah, oh, why are you doing this? Stop telling me where to go. So as you can see, it's shooting up really fast now. And now we're just going to let it do its own thing. Now we're going to be forced into a mini game. Okay. And what the mini game is, is it's going to make you have to mash um, with your mouse button, unless you re key it uh, left or right on your mouse key really 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 fast it's like a fast action time event okay so i'm basically forcing the anger to go up so i can show you guys this and then you'll get a countdown and there it is and as soon as that countdown hits zero boom you have to hit it boom and then what you're doing is you are mashing really 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 fast and as you notice that break loose was a red bar that was going up the entire time i was doing that that is what that little mini game is if that red bar reaches the end the horse will buck you off then you have to wait for it to calm down and then you can retrain it you can try to get back on it and there we go the horse hit 100 percent obedience and it was tamed so we got a perfect tamed level 11 horse now it's level 11. it's not going to have the greatest stats in the world but you can go in here you can see it's hp it's stamina it's movement speed it's carry weight all that stuff and then you can see it's traits its talents, talents and traits, and its weaknesses. This horse has a weakness. It doesn't like to be controlled. It has really bad control, and it has decreased in movement speed. Simple mind. There are much worse ones as well. And you can get anything from green, blue, uh, purple, gold, and red color traits. So, and then you also get an equipment slot for a special horse skill, which you can unlock. That's more advanced end game stuff. But that's it. That's how you tame a horse in the wild. Now, there are two more methods for horse taming. There is the passive taming. So I'm just going to leave this horse here and we're going to run over there to that other horse. But I'm going to show you this. So, so with horse taming, you are allowed to have a certain amount of horses in the beginning. Now, I have, I'm only allowed three horses. If you look up here, I'm allowed three horses. Okay. So I am going to have to get rid of this one that we just tamed. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to right there. Confirm. We're going to act like that horse never existed. All right. So the next method we're going to talk about is passive taming. So as you can see, the obedience on this horse is already pretty high. And that's because I had been throwing hay at it. But I'm going to show you another method you could do where you bring it into like a little corral get in here, jump off, close the door, okay, click on your stable, put horse in here, horse. So now that the horse is in here, it's taming, and it tells you estimated time, an hour and 12 minutes. So you're, what you're going to want to do from there is you can tell your NPC if you have an NPC with good taming. So let's tell our NPC to come over here real quick. Tell her to dismount. Tell her to come over here. So she'll come over here. And then we'll come once she gets closer. Now you can do this as well too. She's going to come up here. Go to the stable assigned worker. Tell her to assign it. And then go here. And it's supposed to drop it when you go here. So you go up here. It tells them what their taming level is. So she's 263. So she's higher than me. You're going to click on her. And you're only going to hire her because it's only going to take an hour and 11. So I'm going to only hire her for one hour. So there we go. Now it's down to 26 minutes. So now it'll take 26 minutes for her to passively tame this level 14 horse that's in the stable. Obviously, it's much faster to tame this horse manually. Like actually throwing the fodder at it or jumping on its back. So like I said, you can take the crude fodder. 
So while that horse is taming, you can take the crude father and you can find another horse. So I'm getting a little too close, so I gotta be careful. All right, so there we go, we got the horse's attention. So this is another passive method. You could, in theory, sit, sit back and just throw fodder at a horse and it will passively tame from eating the fodder. The fodder. The only downside to this method and that method is you don't get the perfect tame. You know how that riding buff that was going up on the first one? You don't get those if you do these two passive methods. If you want those higher chances of stats and skills from like, let's say you're trying to tame, like, you know, you find that level, a level 55 horse and you're like, oh, I want to get that. I highly recommend you do the active taming method. So what you'll do first is you'll throw your fodder, you'll get its attention. You might take it out over here and throw it in like a pen just like that so it doesn't run off and so you don't get attacked. Um, and you throw some fodder at it, get its obedience up a little bit. And there are different tiers of fodder. So as you're leveling in the game and you unlock higher tiers, you'll eventually be able to unlock, you know, like fine hay barrels or even special made hay barrels. And these give more obedience. The nice thing is, is your taming ability also increases your obedience. And not just your taming ability, but if you have a guild that you run with, even their skills will increase the obedience. So I'm going to jump ahead to when this horse finishes and when that guy is done. And then we will show you what we're working with. Possibly one of the two. All right, I think this horse is just about done taming. Yeah, it's going up almost there. Probably one more fodder. So I did have some extra fodder on me to do the special grade hay barrels. So I'm going to use those. It just turned nighttime. So if he doesn't tame here, I'm going to throw this next one. And you get roughly about... 200 obedience by d oh i think i might have threw that too far nope we're good uh you get about 200 um obedience by default and there we go it just tamed and that is how you tame a horse with a hay barrel or with hay you just throw it and it passively tames and as you can see it did get some stats because its health went up after the tame so if we go up here it got there yeah speed carry weight it got no weaknesses. It got more blue traits than the other one did. And you can look at what it kind of traits and talents it has. You can see it unlocks another one there. So that's that's not bad. So that's how you do that. And then, of course, I already showed you guys how to do the, um, the stable version of it. It took me a minute. So I'm not going to keep these horses. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it and how simple it is. It's really not challenging. Um... Obviously, if you're going for higher level horses, you know, you want to throw a few hay barrels at it to get its obedience up in the beginning. Some of them special grade ones. And uh, you want to go from there and possibly uh, <clears throat> maybe throw it in a stable with a good a good taming NPC on it. You could do that. Um, uh, you can obviously do the riding method, which is the preferred method of taming a horse because that's usually how you're going to get some of your best stats. But uh, yeah, hopefully this quick, well, quick-ish guide <laughs> to horse taming was helpful to you guys out there. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask down below. If you guys have any requests for any specific guides, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, don't forget to join the Discord. And I will catch you guys in the next guide. Peace out. Take care. Happy hunting.